Russia lost an S-400 surface-to-air missile battery in northern Crimea on 17 April to a Ukrainian strike. Reports claim the attack was the result of a strike from the MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System fired from the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. The loss has dealt a severe blow to Russia's air defense cover from the Ukrainian F-16s, where the S-400 was expected to play a major role in shooting them down. Interestingly, earlier this month, Russia conducted unusual warhead-free inert missile firings from the same location around the Zhenkhoi Air Base. Confused Ukrainian officials later concluded that the Russians were aiming to finalize the placement of their S-400s for optimal radar coverage before the F-16s reached the Ukrainian Air Force. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed, we request our viewers to subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. And please do not forget to like and share this video. Whether it was this Russian exercise that helped Ukraine identify and target the S-400 is not known. But it would not be difficult to conclude that the practice did play a role in the attack. Nevertheless, with the loss of three A-50U airborne warning control systems and an S-400, Russia's ability to counter the F-16s has certainly been impeded. The Russian Aerospace Forces nevertheless retains the significant capability to shoot down F-16s as it has only lost 10% of its fleet and as sophisticated fighters like the Su-35S, Su-30SM and MiG-31. It is likely to push its land offensive and take more areas in the separatist Russian-speaking Donbass region in the coming months to nullify any tactical successes the F-16s might land Ukraine. Since last year, Leading Western analysts have also assessed that F-16s will not be a game-changer in Ukraine. Many war reporting handles allied to Ukraine showed a pixelated image of burning debris from what they claimed was an S-400 battery in Zankhoi, northern Crimea. The image appears to be a still from a video or possibly a picture taken from screen footage of the burning system. The destroyed components appear to be mast-mounted radars and the trucks they are placed on. Around four to six cylindrical silos on tele-erector launchers, however, seem to be intact. OSINAT technical claimed that Ukraine used a pair of MGM-140 Army tactical missile systems. The missile can reach ranges of up to 300 kilometers. The Security Service of Ukraine involvement, meanwhile, suggests Ukraine has been using the small anti-Russian camp in Crimea, called the Crimea Underground for on-location target verification, surveillance, and damage assessment. Driver, a leading Crimean aligned military analyst forum, said that around 12 Army tactical missile systems, operational tactical missiles, probably launched from Ukraine's Kherson region, were used in a two-phase attack. An initial wave of seven missiles armed with cluster munitions struck the airfield to destroy aircraft and cause casualties. This was followed by a second wave of five missiles armed with high-explosive warheads targeted fuel reserves and ammunition storage. Russia was calculating where best to deploy its S-400 missile and radar systems to maximize the area they can cover to target F-16s, keeping them away from the front lines and Russia's logistical hubs. Russia did not specify which missile it used for this range-finding exercise. AFU officials implied how minor tactical victories before Russia would not turn the strategic tide of the war. Largely due to a much greater weight in numbers and the guided aerial bombs that have been smashing Ukrainian positions for weeks now, Russia will likely be able to penetrate the front line and to crash it in some parts. Jai Hind.